Hi you guys! Thank you so much for joining me today and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to share with you everything that I did to take down the Christmas decorations and clean up the house a little bit. Um, I filmed this video a couple weeks ago and life is just so hectic around the holidays that I always take a little break and relax and just like enjoy getting back to normal. As you can see, the first thing I had to do was clean up the kids' toys. The Christmas tree is right where they usually have like a play area. So I had to kind of clean up their toys so that I could get the Christmas tree down and then put their toys back in that little area. So um, I'm just going to straighten up really quick and then take off all the stuff from the tree and put that upstairs and then I'll go through the kitchen and do that stuff too. One of the things that you'll notice as I'm going through and taking down some decorations is I'm leaving some up. It seemed really weird to take everything down all at once. Uh, Olivia was not excited about taking the Christmas tree down. It's always a hard thing to do. So I wanted to make sure to leave some things up and um, that way we would still feel like the house was a little festive. You know, little snowflakes, little silver things here and there to kind of mimic what's going on outside. You may notice as I'm going through also that I have a bandage on my hand. I made a big mistake and right after Christmas, the day after Christmas, I cut my hand trying to open up something for Olivia and I shouldn't have done it and I ended up with stitches. So learn a lesson from me and don't ever try to open up a Christmas present or any kind of a box with a kitchen knife. Thank you. 
Okay, I don't know if any of you other folks have this problem, but I showed you when I was decorating, this is my big Christmas bin. Somehow, I have to fit things back into it and get it back into the attic. And I also have to get the tree back into the attic. So, <laughs> I'm going to... Um, kind of fold things up and try to get them back in here somewhat neatly, if I may. That wasn't so bad. <laughs> I thought that was going to be a lot worse. I really just had to fold a couple of boxes and bags back up, and then once they laid down flat, um, everything else just kind of fit, and I don't know, I have a tendency to keep some wrapping paper scraps just in case. Um, so I do think I'll keep a little bit, like maybe I can tuck them in along the side here without totally smushing them. There we go. And then if I have any really little boxes or anything next year, um, I can go ahead and make those work. And then the big rolls, whoops, there they are. The big rolls always just lay down on top of the Christmas tree once I get them in the attic. So now I'm just going to scoot everything away from the attic door and kind of slide it back in there. If you guys watched my fall cleaning videos and taking down my fall decorations, then you saw that I always put my wreaths in a big bag. And I did that this year with the... Um, Christmas wreaths also. I just thought that it helped them stay neat and then you don't have to like fluff them up or fix anything when you go to take them out the next year. So I just wanted to show like how I left some things up, sorry about my cleaning supplies there. I really just love this and I had a hard time taking that down because it made me feel like everything was empty. And I left some tinsel on my kitchen windowsill with some little snowflakes that I put up and took like the more Christmassy things down, you know, but I left my tinsel there and my twinkle lights are still up in here. I also left this little guy up because I just, I loved this, how that turned out. I just took the garland and the stockings down and then um, left the twinkle lights up in here. These really help us with lighting in this room since we don't have anything in the ceiling. You know, old fashioned popcorn ceilings, so we needed a little bit of help there with lights. And then this is where the Christmas tree was, uh, in this corner, and Olivia, like, I'll show you guys in another video, but she got a new bed frame, my old bed frame, and she was so excited to fix up her room, 
and so she wanted to fix up her play area too. So I kind of just let her have some fun with it. She moved her little dresser, where's my finger? She moved her little dresser over here and left the little table there, but she wanted the lamp on the dresser, which is fine with me because then James can't get at it. Um, she did, she cleaned up last night, so she kind of made like a pile in the corner, which is not what I would do. Like I would put it away in the drawers and stuff like that, but that's fine. If she wants to do that, that's okay. And then um, she wanted her Peppa Pig house and her piano down there. And then I still just have Jamie's pack and play. And I did um, put a couple snowflakes in there. Because this is, again, this is one of those things, like I just love having my bird cage. My grandma always had a bird cage in the house. I love bird cages. And I just couldn't take it all down yet, you guys. So, yeah, that's what the house looks like now. And I hope you guys like this video. Thank you so much for stopping by and spending some time with us today. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe for more. And we'll see you in our next video. Bye!